Hello other book learners, I hope that you are doing great today and I hope also that you are doing great with your little tiny baby steps in learning this new yet interesting language. I'm Sabri, your teacher of Arabic and welcome to another day translations video. This is a little bit too long, don't you think? I have an idea. Let's sum it up together in one word in Arabic. Are you ready? Marhaban means hello. The word marhaban already contains three letters that we have seen in the previous lesson. Don't you dare tell me that you forget about them. Mm. Let's try to remind ourselves together. A and ba and ha. We said that ha does not have an English counterpart and it is a bit difficult to pronounce. Next time you try to pronounce the letter ha, just imagine yourself that you are cleaning your glasses. Almost the same sound. Don't forget to go back to the previous video and have a look at the letters that we have covered. Today we are going to cover more. Hayya bina yarifaq. Oh, you wanna know what I have just said? Let's go guys. This is what I said. Our next two letters are Ra and Za, the English counterparts of R and Z. The first thing that you may notice is that they are similar in shape, except of this amazing dot of course, without the dot Ra with the dot Za. You may also say that they are similar in writing to Da and Za. But they are not, my friend. What is the difference? The difference, my friend, is that da and da they are written above the line. Ra and za they deep under the line. Example of the letter ra in Arabic: Rafiq, Rafiq, friend. Example of the letter za in Arabic: Yazur, Yazur. Visit. Next two letters are seen and sheen, and they are also similar in shape, except of, yes, the amazing dots, as usual. Seen with no dots above, and sheen with three amazing dots above. The English counterpart of seen is S in English, and the sound sheen is like the sound of SH in she in English. Example of the letter seen in Arabic, Said, meaning happy. Said. Said is the opposite of Hazim, meaning sad. Example of the letter Sheen in Arabic, Shirir, <laughs> meaning evil. The next two letters are Sad and Dad. Sad is a bit similar to Seen, but Sad is harder. Sad without a dot above and Dad with a dot above. Example of the letter Sad in Arabic, Sabri, and this is my name actually, if you remember, you should remember. Sabri in Arabic means patience, which is quality that I do have actually. Good for me. Example of the letter Dad in Arabic, Damir, Damir, conscious. Following two letters are Ta and Dam, and as always, they are similar in shape, except of, yes, the dot as always. They both don't have an English counterpart. Example of the letter Ta in Arabic, Tariq. Tariq, meaning road. Example of the letter Dha in Arabic, Dharf. Dharf, meaning envelope. Now we arrived at maybe the two most difficult letters in Arabic, but don't be afraid. The letters are Ha and Dha. They are similar in shape except of the dot A with no dots above and Ra with the dots above. But A is the problem for non-Arabic speakers as they usually replace it with A and that is wrong. A and A are not the same in Arabic. If I say Alam in Arabic meaning flag in English, don't say Alam as in this case you are referring to pain in English and not the flag. Pronouncing A instead of A is not always safe, as it can mix up some words in Arabic. If you try everything and you could not pronounce this sound, I have an idea for you. Try to imitate the sound of a sheep or a goat. Probably I'm gonna make myself look silly, but let's try it. Ba and ma. And now let's move to Ra. And it is also interesting. The closest example that I can give you in pronouncing the sound Ra is that you try to imagine a French guy speaking in English. He goes something like this. The rain is falling and the road is wet and I have no umbrella. Hey French people, you are so good in pronouncing the sound ra. I guess this is enough for today's video, but let's go through the letters once again. Ra, ra, za, za, sin, sin, sheen, 
شین صاد صاد ضاد ضاد ط ط ظ ظ ع غ غ Now we're done with the second part of the alphabet. We still have one more part. Make sure to follow the translations in order not to miss it. See you soon. إلى اللقاء.